Democrats marching in Washington, calling on the Biden administration to intervene on the crisis in Cuba. The demonstrations and demonstrators even taking their message to the Cuban embassy. Local 10 Denise Fernandez is in the newsroom now to continue our coverage. Denise. Yeah, Calvin, it has remained a peaceful protest with thousands demanding action from the White House and worldwide support. Local leaders were also there in solidarity with the Cuban people. Flooding the streets of D.C., marching straight to the Cuban embassy, thousands demanding change and protesting in solidarity with the people of Cuba. Patria y vida. Patria y vida. The crowd seen waving Cuban flags, some wearing them and holding up signs reading things like SOS Cuba and Freedom for Cuba. The crowd taking over downtown Washington and Lafayette Square, right outside the White House for a rally before marching. They came with a strong message for President Biden, demanding the Biden administration do more to help the people of Cuba fight for freedom. President Biden, Democratic Party is in the power right now. If you don't take action, the Democratic Party can cross off the state of Florida from your electoral poll. And not just a message for the president, but for all members of Congress. If we don't see concrete actions, if we don't see something on the table, by next week, you will lose that Cuban American vote. Joining the crowd, Florida lawmakers, including Senator Rick Scott and South Florida representatives Mario Diaz Bilart, Maria Elvira Salazar, and Carlos Jimenez. Ahora es el tiempo para la libertad de Cuba.